it's Sarah from stampingwithlove.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I wanted to do a video for you to showcase our gorgeous um, birthday bouquet designer series paper. Um, I've laid it all out here for you to, to see all the gorgeous designs in this paper stack um, and the colours are beautiful. Um, Melon Mumbo, Blushing Bride, there's some mint macaron and pool party here and soft suede in the ice creams. Um, it's a really versatile um, paper stack and it is going to be retiring and it will not be in our new catalogue when the catalogue is released in June so if you were thinking of buying this paper or you like the look of it don't wait because everything on the retiring list is, is already disappearing. Um, so that's the uh, paper and I will the stamp sets we're going to be using today are balloon celebrations and actually I'm the only stamp image I'm going to be using from this collection today is the actual balloon strings, bunch of balloon strings there. And then I'm also going to be using my sentiment from Teeny Tiny Sentiments and I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday one. I think this, this stamp set's been around for a long time and it's really versatile. It's got tons and tons, every, about, just about every occasion you can think of is in this stamp set. So those are the two stamp sets we're going to be using today. I've gone ahead and pre-cut all my card. So I'm using a piece of A4 Whisper White cardstock. Normally I create um, top folding cards um, and to do that I normally uh, cut down the centre that way and score down the middle that way and that creates my top folding card. Today I'm going to be doing a standard fold card so I'm just going to be reversing that. So it's going to be cutting down the middle this way and scoring down the middle this way and that creates this, this um, standard folding card that opens just like that. That's gonna be layered with a piece of pool party. And this time I'm going for this gorgeous balloon design paper from that paper stack. And all the layers have just been cut in um, by a quarter of an inch that way and that way. So you just get this lovely even border all the way around. So I'm going to start with my balloon DSP and I'm going to start with my stamping actually. So I'm taking my um, my string, my balloon strings that I've already mounted on my clear block and I'm going to be inking that up in my Memento black ink. I'm just going to be stamping that onto straight onto my DSP about there. And then we can just leave that to the side to dry. Next I'm going to be taking a strip of our gorgeous um, dazzling diamonds glimmer paper. I sort of use this paper whenever I can, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to bring in my um, balloon bouquet punch and I'm just going to punch out several of these balloons, large and small. another small one from this edge here and that gives me my four small balloons and two big ones that's what I need next I'm going to come in with my um, sponge dobbers and I've got one in pool party and one in mint macaron which is the color of the balloons on the background of this of this gorgeous DSP so I'm just going to open up my inks and I'm actually going to sponge the edges of my balloons in both of those colours. Start with a pool party. And I'm literally just going to go around and give my balloons that edge. And 
and then the last two I think I'm going to do in mint macaron because that's also on this DSP as well. So that's all our balloons edged. Now um, I'm going to be um, assembling the balloons onto the top of the strings. There's no real set pattern to this, um, I'm just going to go with whatever I think um, will look good on, on the card. So I think I'm going to start by laying my big balloons down first of all. And I'm probably going to position one there. And and one there. And I'm going to just stick those down flat, I think, with some snail. I'm just going to pop all these small ones up on dimensionals so that you know the big ones look like they're going behind and the small ones look like they're in the front. So I'm just going to take a couple of dimensionals to the back of each balloon and I'm going to put that one I think there. That's all our balloons done. It's already looking pretty actually. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take um, this gorgeous pool party ribbon. This is also retiring very sadly um, and won't be in the new catalogue. So if you can get it now, don't miss out. And I'm going to just put loop that around where the sort of, I imagine the tie would be on the strings. And as you know, I always like to attach my ribbon with scotch tape. And then I'm going to start layering up my cardstock. So I've got my base, I'm going to just attach my pool party layer with snail. you've got a nice even border all the way around like that and then I'm going to pop this one this layer this top layer up on dimensionals all the backings and then you can just place that one evenly on the top of your pool party layer like that. Next we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm just going to bring in a piece of scrap whisper white cardstock. ink my sentiment up in the memento black ink again and I'm just going to stamp that down like that and then I'm going to take the word window punch and I'm just going to stamp that uh, punch that sentiment out that. 
and then I'm just going to pop my sentiment up on a thin strip of dimensionals that edging so just cut my piece off from that edge there and I'm just going to stick that to the back and I'm also going to edge my sentiment in the pool party double once more I'm going to take some of my metal rim pearls, I really love these pearls, and I'm just going to put one there, and I'm going to take a small one, and I'm just going to put it on top of the large one. And that is our card complete. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything easier. And I just think it's so pretty. Getting the top of it in. There. You can really see that gorgeous dusting diamond. You can see the edging from the ink. And just that gorgeous um, pool party ribbon just puts up on, brings all the colours together. So that's it. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. If you like my video, please subscribe um, to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to visit my blog where you can get other ideas and see other projects I've made, you can please come and visit me at stampingwithlove.net. Thank you very much and I will speak to you soon.